In this demo, we'll take you through a quick scenario to show you just how easy it is to capture data in the field with the IQGEO platform. We're going to perform a couple walkouts. This can also be used for as-built workflows or other field operations, anything that needs to be captured in the field. You might actually receive your work through something like Workflow Manager that tells you where work is being performed and handles tickets and assignments. You could also look at this on your phone, accessing all your data from a mobile device or shared between different mobile devices. In this video, we're going to look at a full screen view of the system on a tablet. You're working on top of the IQGEO platform, so you have access to the fully connected network model with all the different asset information. This includes open platforms like Google Traffic and Google Street Map in the background to help with visualization and dispatch. For this particular task, it might be interesting to see where other teams are doing work. You can see this at a very high level by looking at the bounds, or you can look at a very low level that shows what users are actually working on right now in various stages of the design and construction process. For example, you can see here where the map has changed to show all the different data types that you can access across the different versions of the database, even though you might be on your mobile device. If you're kicking off a new process, you can start it from here. You can also receive a package from the office or from other users and pick it up partway through the workflow. And of course, you can have many different types of capture processes. This process will keep track of all the different changes that you're making within the database that are specific to you using the capture user interface. You can still access and change existing data, as well as access from the top toolbar, all the different data associated with this capture package and metadata, etc. One of the most useful things to start with is the equipment you'll find on a pallet. When making use of a pallet, they fly in from the bottom. And as part of this walkout scenario, you're recommending the creation of an access point over here for this particular house. You can access dropdowns and information on the forms to record details on the map. Then you can define where you might be designing the underground route between these two houses. You can also make use of snapping capabilities to snap to existing sections of the network. As you're placing equipment, you have these grips to be able to quickly and accurately drag and drop objects on the map. And again, you can use this as part of a walkout process for preliminary designs or as part of as-built QA processes associated with actual construction. When you select Save, you're actually entering objects into the database that will be visible by other users. You can also add many different notes that will give your colleagues visibility on the details of your package. For example, you can drop in a text box here to indicate exactly where on the map you need to do some trenching. Once you've created a text box, you can see that it's linked here with different leader lines. These allow you to quickly rotate and resize the box. You can also change different aspects of the style. And this is the same if you're entering red lines or annotation. They might help you direct a user's attention to what you're currently working on. You can, of course, always drop in things like photographs. They can be inserted at any point including images that provide a view of the inside of a building. Place that photo here, near the access point. Of course, you're also keeping track of everything associated with the changes that you're making. So if you click here, it'll run a quick query to show you all of the trenching details, access points, and other types of information you've been adding to the system. This helps you drill down and view more detailed information about the photo that you see on the left-hand side. You can also expand this and perform some capture tasks here as well. You can mark up the photo, have access to red lines, and can also switch over to other palettes. For example, you might want to note things that are relevant if you're tracking rack-mounted equipment or simply indicate that you're going to have different sheaths running along the rack on the left-hand side. You can capture key information associated with this detail by using one of the forms.
This process allows you to enforce all your different rules while capturing data accurately through forms on the simple mobile interface. It will retain and track all of the things that you're capturing on the photo, in addition to the details that you're capturing on the map. At any point, you can step back out and see the red lines you created. You can see the sheath that you placed here along the top of the wall in the photo. And when you're finished, you just select Close Package over here and you'll be able to submit your package back to the office. You can also track the different packages you've created and those that are coming from other users with the Package Manager feature. Even if you don't have this one selected anymore, you can, of course, turn the objects back on at any time. You can see in the Capture Package Manager window how you can keep track of the workflows and their associated status for all the active capture packages. It shows which ones are still being worked on and which ones are ready for submission back to either another system tied to Workflow Manager or back to your GIS platform. You can easily perform queries and searches, both spatially and through different attributes for each package, to get them ready to send back to the system of record. As mentioned, all these capabilities are also available on your mobile phone. You can use your phone to open up the same packages and access and zoom in on the objects in that package. You can add more photos, access all the same palettes, and the different types of red lines that you saw earlier. Once you've submitted your capture package, you can continue to view it in the Workflow Manager window, or just move on to the next task that needs to be completed using the IQGeo platform. Visit the IQGeo website to learn more about our geospatial productivity and collaboration solutions.